Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will see the Carson's Rule. This is an important rule of frequency modulation. So what is frequency modulation? In frequency modulation, the frequency of the carrier wave is varied as per the instantaneous value of the modulating that is the message signal. Okay. So the information is contained in the frequency variations of the carrier wave. Now let's see the Carson's rule. Carson's formula is used to calculate the bandwidth of a single tone wideband FM. Single tone means a signal containing only single frequency. Okay, it is not uh, containing a number of frequencies. It is it is only having a single frequency. So single tone. According to Carson's rule, the FM bandwidth is given as two times of the sum of frequency deviation and the highest frequency highest modulating frequency it is twice of the sum of frequency deviation and the highest modulating frequency but you should keep it in mind that uh, this is just an approximation okay so let's see it uh, mathematically mathematically we can write the Kirsten's rule as bandwidth is equal to twice of the delta omega plus omega m as I told you it is twice of the sum of the frequency deviation and the modulating frequency the maximum modulating frequency okay now let's see the modulation index for frequency modulation mf is given by the ratio of delta omega and omega m therefore the bandwidth is equal to two times of this replace this delta omega by from here i can get delta omega is equal to mf into omega m so replace this delta omega by mf into omega m plus this omega m so we can take the omega m as common so we get twice of omega m in brackets i have uh, mf plus one okay now we will have uh, now we have two special cases for this rule the first case is when delta omega is less less than omega m and the second case is when delta omega is greater greater than omega m so let's see each of these case the first case when delta omega is less less than omega m here i have discussed that the modulation index for frequency modulation is given by delta omega by omega m since delta omega is less less than uh, omega m in comparison to omega m it is its value is uh, very small so from this i get mf is less less than one okay it is the case for narrowband fm this case is for narrowband fm therefore since the bandwidth by carson's rule is given by we have uh, seen it that it is given by twice of delta omega plus omega m or we have also written it as twice of omega m in brackets uh, mf plus one since uh, mf is less less than one therefore in comparison uh, we can write it we can uh, neglect the mf in comparison to one so the bandwidth would be two times of omega m okay this converts to one since one plus mf since mf is less less than one so i can write it as two omega m therefore the bandwidth is twice of omega m this is equivalent to the am because in amplitude modulation we know that the bandwidth for the amplitude modulated wave is uh, given by twice of the highest frequency present in the modulating signal okay twice of fm twice of omega m so it is equivalent to am in this case now we will see another case where the delta omega is greater greater than omega m okay the value of delta omega is very large in comparison to omega m uh, as we have seen earlier that uh, mf is equal to delta omega by omega m since this is delta omega is greater greater than omega m so i have uh, mf greater greater than one as is the case for wideband fm okay so since by carson's rule we know that uh, bandwidth is two omega m one plus mf therefore for mf greater greater than one bandwidth would be two times of omega m into mf okay here mf is more than much larger than one so we can write one plus mf as only mf 
so it comes out to be 2 omega m m f but we know that this omega m into m f is delta omega from this relationship okay this m f into omega m can be written as delta omega so just replace this by delta omega in this so bandwidth would be 2 times of 2 times of says this part is delta omega so 2 times of delta omega for all practical purposes this uh, relationship is valid if the value of mf is very large in the next videos we will see more uh, topics related to frequency modulation so keep watching have a nice day friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye